Hey, welcome back uh, in this application gateway series. Uh, this time we are going to perform the lab for the redirection. There is one more routing method that application gateway provides and that's pretty useful. As the name says, a redirection, the common use case or scenario is uh, for, for many applications or web application uh, is to support automatic HTTP to HTTPS redirection to ensure all communication between app and its users occurs over an encrypted path. That's the first use case. Uh, you can also redirect it to uh, external website, right? In certain case, if you want that uh, this to be redirected to uh, external website, so you can do that as well. Uh, so there are many use case as per your uh, requirement. So the whole purpose of this lab is to understand how we can configure redirection and what exactly happens once we uh, configure the redirection. So let's quickly do that. So I'm on my portal trying to create the application gateway for this lab. Uh, the prerequisite is same. I have two virtual machines. The same if you are following me with this series app gateway. The entire setup is same. So let me quickly go ahead and select uh, the resource group. Application gateway name is app gateway 03. I've already covered, already created 01 and 2 just to show you. Uh, so now let's click no select the virtual network i know this is repetitive but uh, in order to reach the routing rule and uh, other settings we need to go through this so here here we go backend now if i click on uh, add backend pool i can create one backend pool right i can add here as you as uh, always I've informed. So let's make it add and go to the configuration. Now here we have the backend pool where the request will land it, where the request will listen is the front end and the routing rule is where the magic happens. So we do need listener for this. Let me call it listener 01 or listener HTTP. This will listen on, on HTTP. Let me call it, oh, I'm sorry, I just made a mistake. This is the name of the rule. So rule zero one, listener HTTP. Where it's gonna listen on HTTP on the public IP. Okay, now I'm gonna edit. Now on the backend pool, you can see the target type, redirection. I can choose the redirection here. Now it could be, listener or it could be external site okay i do not have any listener created right now that's why it's not showing here uh, because this one is already in use the first that we have created it's already in use so as i explained in the beginning we can we can create one more listener for https and put it here right or we can use the external site for example let me put it uh my blog site, if that helps. Okay, so it's that simple. Now, what it will do, it will redirect the traffic to the uh, external site that I have added here. Okay, and if I hit preview and create, it will take a lot of time to do it. And uh, just to save time, I have already created two gateways here. Let me take you to these gateways. App gateway. Now, here you can see almost, not almost exactly the same configuration under the rules. If I click here, this is the basic rule and the backend target is redirection. And this is my website, okay? There are uh, multiple redirection target like temporary, permanent, found, see other. You can use as per your need okay so uh, click here 
I'll share the uh, MS Talk link in the description box if you want to read a little more about it. So this is the lab. So I'm focusing on the on this uh, task part of it. So this there there is the rule and there is the listener. But as I complete this entire lab, you will know how what is redirection routing rule and how we can use it. What are the usual cases? So this is the very first one. So this is the default listener, which is listening on port 80 and applying on this redirect rule, which is uh, my blog site. Okay, so now if I go come here on the overview page, copy this uh, front end of the application gateway and try to browse. You see, it is lended to my uh, blog, my uh, external site. Okay, let me close this. Now, I also have this gateway where, let me show you the rules. I have uh, two listeners, one on HTTPS and another one is on HTTP. Okay, and this one is hooked up with uh, this rule where the redirection is, another listener, which is HTTPS, okay? So whatever traffic is coming uh, on uh, HTTP listener, it will redirect it to HTTPS so that it would be encrypted end to end, okay? So it will ensure all communication between app and its user occurs over an encrypted uh, path. All right, so let me show you the listeners. There are only two listeners, nothing much. Front end we've seen, HTTP setting is the single one. I also have a backend pool, right? Where I've configured the same Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu server, okay? Let me cancel this. And let me go to overview and copy this. Now, before I, uh, okay, it's fine. Let me get into the Cognito mode. Uh, come here and you see uh, I have configured the listener on 8080. That's what I want to show you. I forgot to mention, I think. You see 8080, it's not on 80. I just wanted to show you the port as well and forgot about it. Don't worry, uh, it's 8080. So if I give the port number, come on, 8080. You see, we are on the Ubuntu page. All right, and now uh, I forgot to show you like <laughs> this is converting to the HTTPS. So let me open uh, IE, this will help me. Uh, why I'm changing the browser because I don't wanna mess with the cache. Uh, it is getting into the cache and giving me the same results. You see, there is an error because this is now HTTPS. Just to be, just to, just to uh, be sure, if you're following me, you know how we configured the end-to-end -end SSL or SSL offload here. We have uploaded the uh, self-created self, uh, certificate, right? Self-signed certificate. That's what I did for this HTTPS. I have uh, created this cert. Uh, the video has already been created. The lab has already been done for the SSL. So that's why uh, traffic is listening on 8080 and it is diverting it to HTTPS. That's why it was showing HTTPS. And you can get into it by go to your start page and all uh, advanced and details, you can do that. So that's how the redirection works. Uh, the external site or listener to listener. And it is quite useful as per the requirement and uh, go through the MS documentation page. I'll share it in my description. And thank you for watching. You have a good day.